This is the video for lesson 32 on my website, Relationship Between Place Values. Let's just review what each of these place values look like. In the ones column we have numbers, single digit numbers that look like this. In the tens column, which is to the left, we have two digit numbers that look like this. Hundred numbers look like that, three digits. For the thousands, remember that we put a comma in between the thousands place and the hundreds place. And here's what ten thousands look like and hundred thousands. Now the key thing to take away from this lesson is that we use a base 10 math system. What that means is that as we move to the left in our place value chart, each place value is 10 times as big as the place value that's on the right. In other words, 10 is 10 times as big as 1. 10,000 is 10 times as big as 1,000. Now we can look at it the other way. As we move to the right, the place values become 10 times as small, or they become one-tenth the size. So if we compare the 1,000 to the 100, 100 is 10 times as small as 1,000, or we can say that 100 is one-tenth of 1,000. We can also skip more than one place. For example, 100 well, this place, which is two places to the left of the ones, is a hundred times as big. So if we go from the hundreds to the ten thousands, since we're skipping two places, we can say that ten thousand is a hundred times as big as a hundred. Make sure you see how that works. Going to the right, it's the same thing. If we compare the thousand to the ten, since it's two places to the right, we can say that the ten is one hundredth the size of 1,000. That This may seem a little tricky, but just make sure that you see it. We use a base 10 math system. For every place that we move to the left, the number gets 10 times as big. If we go 3 times to the left, it would actually be 1,000 times as big. It would be 10 times as big, 100, and then 1,000. Make sure that you feel comfortable with this idea. It's quite important, and it will come up again and again in later math.